the problem wants us to find the point three eighths of the way along the directed line segment from negative five nine to negative one seven. So let's put those points out here. Negative five nine would be here. I'm just gonna rough estimate that. And negative one, negative seven, whoops, that's actually not a good place to put it. Negative five nine would be up here. And negative one, negative seven would be somewhere down here. Negative one, negative seven. So if I took that point or those points and drew them in, negative one, negative seven is down there. The line that connects them would look like that. And I want to find it three eighths of the way along the directed line segment from that first point to the second point. So they want me to start here and they want me to go three eighths of the way down. So the ratio would be three to five. A lot of times you'll see it written that way, a ratio of three to five, but that would be three eighths of the way down. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna imagine, we're gonna break this up into the X coordinates and the Y coordinates. So the X coordinates would be to go from here to here And the y, and what I would have to do for those x coordinates is I would want to take three eighths of that distance right here. If I went straight down to that point, that value right there, I would want this to be in a ratio of three to five, or I would want to go three eighths of the way from there to there. So the way to do that is to subtract the values to find the total distance. So the total distance of that yellow line would be subtracting the values negative five minus a negative one, which will give you negative five plus one, which is negative four, and that's the absolute value of that is your distance. That's the distance formula. So four is the distance. So this total distance of that yellow line is four. And so to go three eighths of the way there, I would take three eighths of four, and I would add that to that starting x coordinate which is negative five. So I'm taking the first X coordinate and I'm adding three eighths of the distance between X1 and Y1, X1 and Y, and sorry, X2. So that'd be negative So the distance that I'm adding there is, actually, let's see, do I need that? And when I do that, I can reduce that four and that eight. So that would be three halves. So negative five plus three halves is gonna be uh, negative 3.5, negative three and a half. So that would be your X coordinate. The X coordinate is negative 3.5 comma. Now to find the Y coordinate, we're gonna do a similar thing, but we're gonna take this, the horizontal line that goes from there to there and we're thinking to ourselves, I want to go three out of five. I want to go three eighths of the way, basically, down that line. So we're going to take the distance, the total distance of that green, of that gray line, rather. The total distance of that gray line is going to be found by taking y, the, the absolute value of the y's. We're subtracting the y's from each other. So the y coordinates are nine minus negative seven, which is 16. So that total distance is 16. And I wanna go three fifths of the way. I'm sorry, three eighths of the way down there. So what's three eighths of 16? We're gonna set up that same equation. So I've got, I'm gonna take my y, my, my y coordinate there, y1. I'll write it up here by there. I'm gonna take y1 and I'm gonna to add to that whatever 3 eighths of 16 is. And actually, as you can see in this case, I'm not gonna add it to it. I'm gonna subtract it to it because I need to be going down. So it's good to have the visual of that. So I'm actually not, go I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Instead of being adding, I'm gonna subtract it. So 16, I can cancel that and that becomes two. 
So that's y sub 1, which is 9, minus 3 times 2, which is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. And I can see that that value is going to be 3 right there. So this point is negative 3.5 comma 3. And that's the visual understanding of that. Now there's formulas for it, and you can actually use the formulas um, to find it in a more simple way, but that's how it works. So here's your formula. And there's, and there's your equation right there. So your, your little shortcut sheet there is that if you're given the point and you want to go from that point to this point, so this is your first point, and this is your second point on your directed line segment, the way, the way to do it is to set it up as x2 minus x1 and set it up as y2 minus y1, which you'll remember that's your slope. So some, some books or some teachers teach it as the slope, the rise and the run thing. And they talk about taking 3 eighths or whatever the percentage, A over B percentage or the percentage of, of your y and add that to the y and take the percentage you know, three-eighths of the percentage or A over B percentage of your, of your run and adding that to the X coordinate. So that kind of takes care of, that kind of takes care of the signs if you are just careful with it and you do it like that.